It is said that where the attention goes is where the energy flows. Similarly, where the awareness goes is where prana flows. Namaste and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be talking about drishti and telling you the nine drishtis that are used in the Ashtanga Vinyasa practice. So please stay tuned until the end of the video. Drishti is a yogic technique or a method of focusing the gaze on a point during the practice. This has physical as well as mental benefits. Physically, it helps the practitioner to steady the gaze, steady the mind, which in turn helps in balance through the body. And this is enormously helpful, especially in challenging balancing postures. Mentally, it helps the practitioner to get into a deeper level of concentration, tune into the rhythm of the breath a little more easily, and focus on the sensations that emerge with every single breath. It is all about practicing with more awareness or with full awareness into the present, into the breath. Now, taking it to a deeper level or a more subtle level, Having a gaze or a drishti helps to tune into the breath more easily but also take the whole practice to a deeper level and that practice goes beyond just holding certain postures. It helps to draw the awareness inwardly. Now as human beings we are highly visual beings and it is normal and natural for our eyes to wander around the room and wandering eyes create distractions. So having that focal point or that drishti helps to stay away from those distractions and turn the awareness inward and that helps us look into a higher level of consciousness. It is about moving from the world of illusions that come through the senses, that may come through the senses, and tuning into the real essence or the truth. So going from asat, illusions, to sat, truth, inner essence, true and pure consciousness. And this practice on the mat, if practiced regularly, helps us to integrate this wisdom and this focus in our day-to-day -day life and in every moment of our life. This is why it is so important to practice it on the mat during our yoga asana or yoga pranayam practice. Now, just one little tip. Whenever we have a gaze or we're holding a gaze, we want to keep the gaze nice and soft. It's not about straining the eyes or uh, straining the head, the brain or the body in any way, but we want to keep the gaze nice and soft. All right, so coming on to the uh, drishtis in Ashtanga Yoga. Let me start off by explaining what Ashta Anga means. Ashta means eight, Anga means limbs. So there are eight limbs uh, that we need to practice to reach the goal of yoga. I will be talking about the Ashta Angas or the eight limbs of yoga in separate videos, but I quickly will touch on the fifth and sixth limb right now because they are very relevant to the topic of this video. The fifth limb is Pratyahar. Pratyahar translates into uh, withdrawal of senses. So like I said, this world of illusion or the stimulation that we can get through our senses, we want to kind of detach from it during our practice and turn the awareness inward. That helps to cultivate concentration. And then, then we go on to the sixth limb, which is dharana. Dharan translates into to hold or to keep. So keeping that focus and that concentration on going steadying the focus, steadying the gaze. Right, now let's um, have a look at what the nine drishtis are in Ashtanga Yoga. The first one is Nasagra Drishti, that is gazing at the tip of the nose. Again, we don't want to strain our eyes, so we're softly gazing at the tip of the nose or just at the silhouette of our nose. Second is Agnya Chakra Drishti, the third eye drishti. So we're softly gazing at that point in between both the eyebrows, Agnya Chakra, third eye chakra. 
third one is Nabi Chakra Drishti. That is the belly button. So Nabi Chakra gazing at the belly button or the navel, like we do in Downward Facing Dog, for example. Next is Hastagra Drishti, which is the hand. So gazing toward the hand, like so, for example. Then we have Pada Yoragrai Drishti, which is the foot or the tips or the toes of our feet. Pada Yoragrai Drishti. Then we have Parshva Drishti. Parshva Drishti is far to the right or far to the left, like we do in twists. When we say look over the shoulder, we're looking, we're having a Parshva Drishti. That's Parshva Drishti. Next is Antara Drishti or Urdhva Drishti, meaning upward. So we're gazing toward the sky, for example, Urdhva Drishti. And then we have Angushta Madhai Drishti, meaning the tip of the thumbs, like we do in warrior one, when, uh, when our arms are stretched out, we're gazing toward the tips of the thumbs. And then the last one is Sama Drishti. Now sometimes Parshva Drishti are two separate Drishtis, left and right, um, but sometimes they're coupled together and then we have Sama Drishti. Sama Drishti is the ninth one and it is gazing straight ahead. So without turning the head in any direction, we're gazing straight ahead. So those are the nine drishtis in the Ashtanga Yoga practice. The reason I decided to make this video is because I'll be following with some Ashtanga Vinyasa tutorials and um, in those videos, whether I'm showing just one posture that um, is included in the primary series or a Vinyasa, I'll be talking and saying out the names of the drishtis. So now you'll be a little more familiar with what it means, why it is practiced, and what the names of the drishtis are. In the description box below, I'll be typing out the names in Sanskrit as well as in English so that you're more familiar with the names. Thank you very, very much for watching. I hope that this was useful and interesting. Uh, please do like and share this video with your friends, with your family, and subscribe to my channel so that you can get to see the upcoming videos and other videos that are already on my channel. Thank you once again. Namaste. Have a great day.